the news. Damn it. Yes. Jordan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, on twos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm old man Vin driving the SS. Choo choo choose you. <laughs> Here at LGC Actual. Switching the I'm bits, doing danger. the nightmare in our little Linux powered studio. That is the man who is not in Minnesota. Nay, he is in Toronto. One Jordan Swang. And staying up late past his bedtime. That was horrifying, Jordan. Pedro Mateus <laughs> on the Isles of Britannia. Together with you, Shat Realm Dynamic, joining us live on Twitch, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. What's up? I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited just in general because, you know, we got the notifications, the Steam decks are out, and they're sending final hardware revisions out to tech people, just not us, because fuck us. And um, <laughs> We've just been talking about Linux gaming for fucking a decade, a decade. now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> The Linux gaming media. Now, now, now here's, here's the question. Did we ask? Fuck no. Okay, well, that, <laughs> no. <laughs> Pedro, that's, that, that one's 100% on Pedro there. I'm going to throw him well, on no, the yeah. for that. I mean, come on. Like, it'll, like, in your head, and there's like six people watch this. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, who are we to ask anything? Uh, something I finally got. This is not a repeat. This is, I got the uh, PCIe version of the French sound card that I was trying to get way back when, and I got out bed because... The guy was like, I'll pay three more dollars for it. And I'm like, yeah, fine, whatever. So, uh, yeah, more, more on that at 11. This is, this is like, mm, I'm going to see what this does after doing two USB, uh, audio interfaces, taking those for the team. I'll take this one for the team. Maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it won't be, but outside of that, yeah, just general excitement. And the steam deck thing is like, it's happening. You guys, and I, I don't even have everyone talking up about the steam deck. I just want everyone else to like, Go out there and start ham. Okay, I do want to bring. Oh, I'll save that. I'll save that. Don't tune out just yet. How about you, Jordan? You got. Uh, you've been pulling on shit, haven't you? Yeah, I've been. I I, I got a <laughs> lovely hook skill from Game of Tron. I'll go. I'll go into that a little bit more when we're shilling ourselves. Yeah, so I've just been going around weighing shit. It's 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 been a thing. I now, now now I know how a bunch of how much a bunch of stuff actually weighs. Because of the hook scale. Yeah. Um, no, it's just been, it's been a lot of shoveling this week. We had some pretty heavy snowfall, so I had to get out and I you know, saw a thing on the internet. Brace yourselves. Oh, 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 no. I thought it was a galaxy brain move because it showed a, you know, apartment complex and one guy's uh, like shoveling snow off the top of his uh, motoring vehicle. Mm -hmm. And the other guy walks out there. He apparently just laid down a plastic tarp over the entire car. So he just grabs it and. Mm, yeah, this is the, I, I imagine that's smart. I think I think we're, we're, we're in that sort of realm where I feel like that tarp may get frozen, to, actually frozen to the car at some point. So, well, I learned like my little move with um, I know if it's going to ice up and snow and I might have to go somewhere as I lift up the wipers. If I have a car yeah. outside mm -hmm. indoor and put a towel or something over it just so I don't have to like chisel on because i've done that once and that sucked you want to get high yeah yeah <laughs> tally <laughs> pedro mateus sitting there looking all nice and polite all high I, he's on drugs high as a guy i am neither of those things but yeah no speaking of uh stuff that you get outbid on i too got outbid uh when it came to those three um asus triple e pcs the a701s and two of them were fine. Uh, there was one that was, well, the keyboard didn't work and the uh, touchpad's a bit worn off and the screen's a bit funky. Wait, 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 hold, battery. hold on. Are, are these, are these the three new ones or those are the three ones you got the From other last week? week? Yeah. Yeah. The, the oh, three okay. Ones okay. Cause, Cause if you got three more EPCs, like that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> right. No, th these are the same three. I had uh, like two of them. Uh, Nori took the blue one, obviously, because she looked at it. It's like, oh, I want to fair. And this one that was all broken. Well, now it's back together. It's got new battery, new keyboard. Um, and you can tell that the colors don't match because the white battery and the white keyboard were about 30 pounds more expensive than, the uh, the black variants, so no. <laughs> Racists. Check this out. Racist <laughs> Sky, Sky, call me. We're going to do um, lap flippers, a new reality TV <laughs> show. Oh, with, um... But it, we're, we're, so, we're uh, Pedro yeah, attempts so to learn how to do back have... flips no, 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 while he's it's, fixing It's going to be brilliant. We're going to see how how the least amount of pay, money Pedro can lose every time. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I want to see him like, make, make a giant... 
I, I want to see make like a giant stand I... of laptops and do a backflip off of them. <laughs> That'll be great. Well, I mean, you can do that. <laughs> the price that I paid for the three, I could probably sell each individual one for that price, but I'm not gonna. Not All yet, right, anyway. fine, be like that. Uh, <laughs> but one thing I guess we're never gonna be able to sell is the horse, right? Yeah, because we didn't. We we left it out of the fridge for like a week, and now it's it's hit its expiry date. And now we can't put it's it not on made of our hot dogs. Yeah, it's we we gotta dye it yellow first. It's the steam. Linux. No, no day. Day. And yes, that, 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 that like we were saying earlier, the, there's a lot of deck. A lot of deck. There's so many deck picks on the internet right now. It's um it's kind of naughty. <laughs> but yeah, it is uh, according to PC Gamer, the developers that have uh the deck on hand have have been singing their praises saying, "Yeah, it kind of just works." And a lot of people say, yeah, it performs a lot better than I expected. And um, there were a few that raised some concerns, uh, like the Steam Big Picture mode is still not perfect. But then again, it's kind of to be expected. It's just a new UI. They haven't really changed much else, though. That seems to be uh, coming. Stick around. And uh, yeah, the... There was one developer that brought up the uh, the support. It's like, okay, so how's support going to be in the future? If this was Google, I'd be worried about that. Um, but of the uh, the devices that Valve actually put out, the Steam controller, the Steam Link, the um, Vive, and what was the other one? Uh, the Index? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the VR headsets, the two of them. Uh, yeah, the... Yeah, the Steam Link and the Steam Controller. The Steam Controller, it was kind of embroiled in a maybe entirely not um, above board uh, patent dispute with a certain company, Corsair. Uh, and the Steam Link, well, you could make the argument that that's technically still supported because they, instead of having the dedicated hardware for it, now they have the app or software, be it a flat pack for Linux or for the Raspberry Pi. It, yeah. It, yeah, mm-hmm. and, and 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 you know maybe 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 since since we've kind of as as an industry as as a, as a Linux using community agreed on using you know Wine Proton as sort of our our middleware like we, we we've seeded this ground we need better I think we need to start investing in like better facilities for testing Windows apps with Wine um, so that it becomes a lot less guesswork for on the part of the developers they have like some means of actually validating their code with a lot, with automated tests that would that would make it a lot easier at least from the support side because now you have now you well, have two I mean that's kind of what Steam feedback. is going around doing I mean we're going to get to that in just a moment but uh yeah one developer really did bring up you know a valid point I think cuz yeah we like the original steam machines and the um steam controller the Areola controllers just gone I think steam's like yeah well you know we don't have those anymore so yeah support support's a legitimate thing that you know we really cuz we got a bunch of enthusiasm right now myself included but you know, it two, three years from now, it seems like, yeah, yeah, we, we tried <laughs> because they've spent a lot of money on other projects. Now the Vive is still around. That's alive and kicking. So I think that's a good sign. Now, the other developers talking about, hey, the game just works. It's brilliant. That's good. But we also got to balance that out. How I still want to know the process from, hey, it's broken. Valve? But, uh, who, who do we call? Because we, we're <laughs> yeah. not doing anything for this. Um. Yeah, and yeah. The 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 burden of support has definitely shipped on, or shifted to Valve side now. If they're going to be taking that on, which I, I've I've voiced my concerns about the long term health platform for it. Uh, but you know, you know, here here's the thing though. A lot of the positive release or a lot of the positive reception is coming from the fact that now we've had like fucking four or five years of Proton ramp up to mm-hmm. to actually make sure that there are games on the platform. The big flaw. That the uni- the single universal flaw of the Steam Machine experience was that they didn't have the games. People mm-hmm. wanted to be able to play their library on their console that they're mm-hmm. spending that hundreds of well, dollars isn't for, that kind of and like they're the unable Valve to do play? that. Because with the Steam Machines, it was 100% on the developers, and developers were like, Neh. I'm sure Valve yeah. cut some checks to get what we got at the time out, but, you know, yes. Yeah, Witcher 3, uh, mm-hmm. anyone? All right, uh, Street Fighter mm-hmm. 5. <laughs> so, and another thing that Gauntlet, was brought up, yeah. another thing that was brought up was... Uh, you know, people were saying developers, publishers, hey, it does work, but as long as you cut everything down to reasonable expectations, which means low, 
But I mean, like, that's the same thing you're saying about, oh, yeah, you can play this game on your laptop. You got to adjust the settings, though, right? And yeah, <laughs> I just say that because, you know, because some people are going to, you know, we're going to see some reviews. Oh, it doesn't run very well at uh, max resolution with everything. On right, yeah. For, yeah. For, for sure. Yeah, there's also and, people who believe that the PlayStation 5 can play games in 8K. But... I, I think like from from a user perspective, because a lot of this this feedback is coming from developers right now. But uh, and Pedro, you you brought it up in the notes as well. Uh, once we start getting other software running on the deck that don't that isn't necessarily tied to the Steam ecosystem, and I'm really just thinking emulators here. The device yum is going to have a life out. Yum emulators, man. <laughs> yum yum. Uh, there, it's going to have a life outside of just being like the Steam console, right? It is. It is going to be a very well integrated game platform. Period. So. It, it's going to be an interesting project to follow and kudos to everyone out there buying them, especially, you know, doing the first gen stuff because this gets really excited when we think like gen three of whatever becomes or what comes out of the steam deck. What's that going to look like? That's well, going to be something. May, may, maybe, maybe NVIDIA has something to say about that. Mm. Oh, stay tuned. <laughs> maybe stay tuned. Lydia is gonna <laughs> but we got to get our decks verified. Yes, and uh, chances are if you've been playing games with Proton, you've been using ProtonDB quite a lot. And if you haven't, shame on you. You should be contributing, letting people know how those games work. But uh, this bit of news comes in directly from ProtonDB themselves, and they've been doing some stuff. The big one is, of course, the deck verified badge for the um, all the game compatibility lists if uh there i put also a link for the steam db uh list of all the games that have been deck verified in one way or the other um that you have to be signed well, yeah in, I, that's the I, 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 sla- I slammed into that one <laughs> I, I i i will i will say though um steam db man you gotta you gotta work on on actually like making the steam deck verified information like easily accessible because mm-hmm. it really isn't what, what it currently is is if you go on the summary page there's some parsed stuff but on the raw data it's just some json that you got to process and you got to ter- determine of the four points whether or not you're in like verified and compatible blah 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 there's a fan uh, site that actually pulls from that list and just organizes everything neatly and you can uh, yeah, just yeah. tick the boxes of yeah. which ones you want to see so at this point we uh, have I mean, a steam I mean, you, db you, 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 for our steam db yeah it, yeah. yeah kind of like it, it, it should it should be in there um but yeah the uh the other, the other thing that's happening is they're removing the game's work metric uh now games they have. will be it's gone <laughs> it's gone now you get you get the thumbs up o meter it's where yep. where you 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 get you get uh, games bucketed by whether they got three or more two or one thumbs up and with the deck verified stuff and this you're gonna have a little bit of cross sectionality you can do to figure out if the game's work on your platform which is nice it's That's always handy yeah yep. more information the better oh what oh seem like beat updates uh clouds that's exactly what it's going to bring up and has everyone noticed that if you're in the beta you get a nice little cloud next to the game now sometimes hopefully no the steam beta borked on my end i had to switch back to the stable oh client <laughs> i uh, next to the play button now or the launch button or whatever you want to have it um yeah mm-hmm. it'll, it'll show you a little cloud nice little pic- yeah. picture yeah yeah Duncan. Yeah, and and and, th- and this comes uh, this bit of news comes hot off the heels of uh, last week, where we were talking about they're, they're changing, uh, they're they're adding the sync save files on suspend for the Steam Deck if you want to be able to be moving mm-hmm. from your Steam Deck to your computer. So yeah, um, now there's going to be a manual fail- retry on failed cloud sync. Uh, they're going to display the last cl- sync time and better management for offline behavior, which is going to be good. Pedro has a lot more uh, in depth kvetching to do, but I mean <laughs> it's it's being addressed, right? Like and. If if, if you're going to be doing save file juggling shit, you're going to need to have that facility in place. So it's good to see that this is happening at least before people are getting the decks in their hands. Right. It's, it's better, better late than never. Right. Or the opposite of that. Do it sooner. <laughs> it do should it have been there from the start, but yes, <laughs> the, uh, no, the, my experience with the, the one point that uh, I immediately jumped out at me was update sync slash failure, uh, failure slash conflict dialogues. And it's like, oh yeah, people have only been complaining about them since they were introduced. It's like 20, 2009, 2010 ish. Um, but yeah, for the very brief stint that I did on the valve translation server thingy, um, that was that 
particular dialogue of when you try to get the either the cloud files to save to your computer so you would have everything that you are you could you know resume your progress or it failed to upload them it was fucking cryptic that was one of the first dialogues that i went to look up it's like okay no the portuguese translation of that is just fucking terrible it has to be terrible the Portuguese translation was actually pretty accurate. It was just the original text. It was a bit shit, Val. <laughs> so yeah, that's been due for an update I, for a long I would time. Like to, why, why don't you just <laughs> shut up and buy another deck, peasant? <laughs> I, I would like to see I, I to some fucking one. naming and yet. shaming. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to see naming and shaming for games that aren't turning on cloud saves, because this is like the fucking killer feature of Steam right now. I this swear to God. This at least lets you know, man, out of the box. Right. It's, I mean, it's very visible. It was like, whoa, oh, neat. That thing's there, because yeah. we've all mm-hmm. had that happen. Oh, I need some free storage. Let me just wipe this, and I'll pick up where I left. Wait, wait a minute. Or, or hey, I have a new computer. I just installed Literally, some games on here. I want to pick up where I left all of the Dark Souls since the first one, including the remaster, don't have cloud saves. God fucking damn it. That's <laughs> terrifying. It's 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 so bad. Like, the, if, if you need reasons to put your game on Steam, that is kind of like, the, aside from the it being the only store on the fucking market of any relevance, that's like the one, that's yeah. the one other thing. No, it has um, a very healthy competition, Jordan, and do not say otherwise. <laughs> um, I think competition are, ran out of money. <laughs> Listen, one, one, buy another game studio. So <laughs> listen, listen, Tim, Tim's check hasn't cashed just yet, so I'm I'm not going to hold my tongue. Okay. Yeah, That's, no, Tim's okay. check is being used to fight. Uh, oh, not anymore. No, <laughs> um, we had another update with just a couple of things, shader precaching and all that fun stuff. But what we really want to talk about is FSR. Yes. So uh, we seem to have a little bit of an answer as to why FSR is not being included in Proton proper and why it's kind of stuck in Proton GE. Uh, so we got a brand new pull re- request. This is on GitHub linked. All this is in our show notes. Um, the It's merged. The uh, FSR hack or not FSR hack. Uh, FSR is now implemented in game scope proper. So you're not going to need to tw- uh, fiddle some stuff with the launch options. They added a flag dash U, and if you hit super U while game scope is running, it'll uh, it'll also turn on the um, it'll also uh, toggle FSR as well, which is which is good. Um, yep. Still no love on Nvidia land because yeah, you no 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 no. Uh, what was what was it? VKEXT image DRM format modifier it needs to be supported in the Nvidia drivers for any any of us to have uh, good fun with that. Yeah. But you know, hey, if you're on the Steam Deck, you don't got to worry about that shit. So you can you're gonna have a real easy time with uh, fucking around with FSR settings. Good for you. Yeah, Gamescope having that because Gamescope is just the compositor effectively. So window manager slash compositor. Uh, so. You have that at the UI level for the operating system. You have FSR at the OS level. (laughs) Yes, thank you. Please, more of that. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) So, yeah, that's that's just kind of interesting. And you're going to need it on the deck. And it's there. So, I mean, this is... You know, you gotta think like even on like medium settings, it's probably gonna be able at minimum hold thirty. So yeah, like um, I, I think F- FSR. I, I've noticed at least in my use of it, mm-hmm. um, very very on like a very large screen, it's not great. But like on on like the 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 Twitch preview, um, or just on like a on a much smaller screen, uh, it is a lot more apparent. So it, you're you're, yes. you're again you're you're playing to the strengths of the device. With this, um, yeah. So and see. lowering at a render resolution and just doing the FSR upscale uh, saves you a lot of resources that you're not trying to render at the higher resolution. Yeah, which, which I mean, is important when you better, have better a limited battery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's completely true. Do you think we're the only podcast that regularly like like and on this GitHub repo and this issue? <laughs> <laughs> as, as we establish using, using it's joshy doing things again <laughs> you, you use using github is a bit of an advanced skill your new linux user may not be a right click knowledgeable save doesn't on actually save shush uh, you can you can uh, whatever it's just a text how many di- yeah how many times do you have to save the github to the hard drive 
Like, how, how many web pages do you have on in your? Oh man, no, I, you, know, you know, how many HTMLs do you Windows? need to change the file extension? Of? I, I listen. I was gonna talk shit, but I have so many misrun curl commands where I've just downloaded the download page and not the thing I was actually trying to download. So I'm gonna shut my fucking mouth. Now, on here's this. something how about I, did, that? I, I forgot to bring up during uh, the Steam Deck segment was uh, the Linus kid. Uh, Shouldn't come. He's about the same age I am, ah. but. Uh, he, Child, he did his uh, thing <laughs> yes, the uh, when show yesterday, where he announced that one because they already have the production hardware, and he's like, "I'm going to use this as my only computer for an entire month." Which his co-host looked at him like <laughs> with, with the look of somebody's like. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't smart enough to do that. Don't, don't, don't be, uh, no one wants to see that. He, he, no, no, he he won't have to install fonts on his Steam Deck, so I think the boy will be good. I. Yeah, I, and I guess the, you know, uh, that whole uh, series of uh, trying to use Linux paid very, very well. So eh, I don't let's know. milk that a bit more. I just want to apologize. <laughs> if I was a good producer, I would have that look of uh, the Luke because it was golden. Yeah. I, it was just the, <laughs> no, <laughs> not you. So, so uh, uh, future sin. Car fuckers. Car fuckers incorporated. Oh. Futuristic racing game, sim <laughs> physics. That's all nice, but what we all want is a little wiggle wiggle and a car. Jeez. Yes. That's oh some, my that's some booty. God. <laughs> Check out that ass. That's thick. That, that with is many realistic. C's. <laughs> It kind of looks like a uh, man. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. There's no, a couple of ways to look at like that. It looks like underwear on a thick, yeah. thick ass. I, I'm seeing more of a penis with cat ears, but. I see like a thigh, some thighs and some torso and maybe some boobies. Well, I don't possibly. know. You know what? I'm not a That's fan of That's just the underwear racing. and there's like I'm butt not, cheeks. But. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? This might be someone's gem. I downloaded it. There is a demo and that's all that's available right now. This is somebody's passion project and they want to do like wind physics and all that. And, you know, r accurately represent how physics will work in the future, I guess, question mark. That That's <laughs> there. There, That is an accurate Wee! representation of uh, my Wee! experience in the game. Uh, I, I didn't read uh, the details when I downloaded it. I'm like, oh, racing game. Doop, let me grab that. Boop, boom, right off the track. And like, <laughs> off the wall, on the first turn. Yeah. Yep, uh, I, I immediately go back and I'm like, what? what is something wrong? Oh, no. Uh, the, there is a Linux demo, though. So, yeah, just yeah. download it. It ran. I. I, I keep reading the, the game's name as Foodism, and that's not what this game is. No. At all. No, no, it's not. It's not. Stop talking. I mean, I, I looking at the, looking at the back of that carb does make me feel um, things in my it, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm not saying I'm not saying Stanislav Marchevsky is attracted to cars, but he might be. <laughs> that that's a thick car. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't I don't know. Send us some hate mail. I just, set set I, the record I, straight. I, <laughs> some people like their sim racing. I've never been able to get into sim racing. How about you, Pedro? I mean, I've tried like uh, the you know you everyone knows the sim racing game on Linux. It's been out for like a thousand years. I've tried that a couple of times and similar Oops. results. <laughs> yeah, the sim racing not so much like sim driving stuff like uh, Mud Runners um, or the the truck. Uh, Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator. Those, those I can get the jam of, but like sim racing, not so much. It has to be more arcadey for me to enjoy it. Yeah, I do like my arcade should, should, racing. Should, should should we call this game Super Fucks Cart? No, because <laughs> I I tracked this guy down. I creeped on him. I found his YouTube channel and I watched some of his dev videos. And he's like, hey, I want to make this. And he's like, uh, for a one person you know, project, this looks pretty damn good, all things considered. Sure. Yep. Yeah. It looks very Unreal Engine-y. And mm -hmm. he's just like, "Hey, this this is like an early version, so go play around with it and test it out." There'll be a link to it yep. in the show notes, or just search Free for demo. Uh, "thick car with three C's." On no, you probably <laughs> the, <laughs> on, on, only two only two C's. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> Pedro, you're dropping the ball. You're dropping the C's, man. Oh, I only put Need two more C's. C's. Oh, that's on me. Yeah. <laughs> mm, shame. Coming up next, we're thick like peanut butter, and we got some new Nvidia drivers for you. To spread peanut butter on, yeah, just <laughs> spread peanut butter on your video card. Right just, just do it. Fine. It's the news. Damn it, yes. Jordan. 
Sorry. About that. <laughs> Keep going. Yes, it is. <laughs> but before we get to the news, as usual, uh, we do need to shill ourselves out to you. Despite a lot of you clearly not needing us to shill anymore because you've decided, you know what, it's a good idea to fund uh, these idiots. So here you go. What are you talking about? They're and, just playing uh, it safe. They're playing it safe. They're like, yeah, in case this <laughs> Linux thing takes <laughs> off. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, get it early. It's, it's gonna yeah. take off. It's gonna take off like the Challenger, baby. Yeah, get on over to patreoncom slash Uh You can you can support this mess. Uh, you can uh, sign up, uh, get access to our Discord channel, get access to a bunch of other stuff at uh, very stoner levels, like access to our show notes, uh, video feeds for the pre pre super shows, and that's that extra podcast hour we do before we go live with this stuff. Man, we talk we, about geography, low carb noodles, and low carb noodles. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, geography and low carb noodles. Dude, we know it, where it is. we know where Minnesota it is now yeah we, we we know where wisconsin is too that was yes. that was up in mm-hmm. the air yeah <laughs> so lo, lo, lots of lots of random educational stuff like we're, we're we broadcast under science and technology but that's like actually the actual <laughs> science and technology podcast uh and, and, and anyways uh you can get access to our discord as well by subbing to us on twitch twitch.tv slash linux gamecast which you should be watching us on hey right also got the bonus uh, thing that i'm doing uh now we got a bunch of people in it's filling up very quickly oh, yeah. i'm dead serious about that that is our filthy casual series we're learning how to play track mania again because hey we don't have 20 hours a week to sit and play a racing game and that's all the people do who play track mania and track mania is a fun game it's easy to play. We got a custom Linux server. It's set up running 24 seven. We do practices on Tuesdays and we do points matches on Fridays. It's a friendly, friendly ribbing of, um, you know, like congratulations and curse you. So Pedro, <laughs> uh, we, we got two new Patreons this week. So you have to come up with some brand new facts, true facts about Kraken and Filio, Filato, <laughs> F- Fellatio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's fillet. Uh, yeah, uh, the um, uh, Kraken. I was going to, you know, just borrow what you said on Discord. It's like clearly someone has opened the gate and released the Kraken. You know what? I happen uh, to be watching the Discord exactly when that <laughs> took place. It was like three, two. <laughs> I was doing yeah. something else, and I just saw Jordan pop. I was like, yeah, that 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 that's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> plagiarism mode, yeah, ladies no, and gentlemen. Uh, what, what, what about what about Felicio? <laughs> tell, tell us about that. Tell yeah, us about. Tell uh, us all about Felicio. <laughs> uh, I wonder if uh, any relation to um, you Phil Seven O. Um, no, I, I was going to bring up uh, Groundhog Day because uh, Punks of Tony Phil. <laughs> Did he die? <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly, I, 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 is, is, isn't it like a Highlander situation where like all the all the groundhogs have to like cut each other's heads off? Shut up! Now I'm imagining a, a little <laughs> groundhog get a kilt. That's not pretty. Yeah, uh, the, the, the 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 ground kurgan. Uh, we we also got to thank Nubbin for increasing uh, his pledge. Uh, and thank yeah, you. we we so <laughs> we, we we got other ways to support us as well. We got a store store.linuxgamecast.com. Cover yourself in LGC merch. Cover yourselves in stickers, coffee cups. I don't know how you're going to cover yourself with a coffee cup, but you're a creative lot. I'm, I'm sure you'll figure it out. We can try it. I'm sh- yeah, just. If you're brave enough, uh, and we got we got uh, wish loans as well. Uh, if you uh, go to Patreon or not Patreon, yes. God damn it, come on, Linux game cast, Just go to patreoncom <laughs> slash Gamecast and become a Patreon again. <laughs> Give us double the money. Now head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. <laughs> um, uh, mouse over the support button. We I got I got I got a wish list. Vens has one for the studio. Jill has one. Pedro has one. Uh, I gotta think. Uh, I got some things to give out. Uh, I put a hook scale on my list to. Way various stuff. I alluded to that in the opening segment, and I got a lovely little note from the Iron Claws of Game Outron, and they say, "Jordan, hope this is to keep dad ass looking fine." Thank you. I, that's what I'm going to use it for. <laughs> a lot of ass going on this week. Yeah, man. You know, make those hands clap, but with ass. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see your ass clap. <laughs> I want to see that music video. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like fucking Pac-Man, but like. Butts. Oh no! Then the groundhog and the kilt in the background. This is gonna get uh, weird. We're gonna raise questions. <laughs> also, uh, I want to thank Aldi as Aldi's popped in. A very very rare occurrence. Uh, I somebody, that person being Aldi's, picked up a game from my Steam wish list. 
Mm. It's a very novel idea. Uh, I huge fan of our audience who will inflict games upon me. Like <laughs> play this, Marco. Uh, this was a Star Wars. It's a Star Wars game. I think it was the one with the lightsaber in it. Oh, uh, Fallen Order. Yeah, that one. The new one yeah. with the uh, Ginger Jedi. Could be. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's it's Uncharted Souls. So you know, you might you might like yes. this. And Aldius <laughs> has uh, made the request that I do stream it when I get a chance to play it. So. When I do get a chance to stream it, that's uh, uh, do, do you do you have like a Picard shirt or something or like like a Battlestar Galactica cosplay you can wear while you're playing it? Hmm. Hmm. Dress in full yeah. style. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just like, <laughs> just, just dress up, just cosplay as like Kirk or Worf or some like, shit. Yeah. But like, how in the weeds can I get? Because now I want to like look up like space 1999 outfits. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Well, well, so we see that's what's got to go on the wish list. Then we gotta, we gotta fucking complete the troll. It just is your the destiny. red shirt. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just, hmm. yeah. <laughs> we'll see we'll see hey thanks for letting us do this this is how we do it community funded and uh that's how we get to stay unhinged even after 10 years so it's kind of neat Un- unhooked even unhooked uncut <laughs> it beeps it beeps <laughs> it beeps very loud oh god now the hook server god damn it i got i got i gotta i gotta i gotta hook myself and talk about nvidia drivers <laughs> your honor um i would like to play again. <laughs> Jordan Svunk, professional hey. hooker. LGC oh. cares. Um, yeah, uh, NVIDIA drivers. There, there's two new ones out. Oh my god, it's a double whammy. We got 470-103-01, which is the stable driver, and that's if you want the GeForce MX5500, MX570, and that other fucking one that the link disappeared before I could Hot. read what it was off the screen. You son of a bitch. <laughs> it was the RTX 2050. That's the one. You know which that card that no one really wants. Yeah, it's a typo. Yeah. <laughs> So it'd be the 3050. Excellent. You love to see it. Uh, also, uh, also coming down the pipe is the 510-47-03. No, uh, uh, breaking news here at LGC. 2050, I mean, now, man. Come on. Come on. At this point, Listen, would, would you put it, would you put it fucking above NVIDIA at this point? They have to have something to compete with the, with the 6500 XT, right? It needs to have like PCI by four. They need, they just need to make it as janky as possible, but just performs just a hair better than it. So you can be like, fuck you, AMD. You, it's like you, the know, you know that's real. It's a laptop exclusive. <laughs> See, the problem um, but, is you're playing like bullshit or reality with us because NVIDIA is known for nailing every single product right. all right. the way it, down. It, it, like like one one alternate reality over that is actually true. There is a twenty fifty exactly as I described. Because like if, <laughs> if Nvidia came out and they're like, oh yes, we're going to release a thirty fifty minus Ti, like probably. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> um. But uh. But yeah. Uh. If you're on the five ten drivers, you get more than just new cards. You get the Nvidia Power D stuff. Uh. That is cu- that previously plagued uh, Pedro's debussy issues. Uh, but it only works on Ampere GPUs, and if you have Am- Intel uh, Comet Lake or better, so no love on the Ryzen mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, supposedly, this will do some stuff to shift load between uh, CPU and GPU to better optimize power performance, which, you know, on laptops is a thing that yeah. you need. Um, yeah, and as Foxy brought up in Discord, and as I mentioned in the Steam segment, no VXT, VKEXT D- image DRM format modifier, so no game scope, sad Whoa. face. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, the um I'm glad that they finally released the stable version of the 510 because I can go back to the PPA now. Uh so I don't have to worry about it. It's just yeah, PPA, they're done. Uh and I did on Tuesday. Everything seems to be working very, very nice. And uh yeah, to Jordan's point earlier, it's like updated NVIDIA bug report.sh to search the system D journal for NVIDIA Power D logs. October. The first report on your forums for that bug was in October. You Progress. fixed it now. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. Quit being so harsh on the box. leather jacket, man. <laughs> I was being harsh because I saw my uh, D-Bus message demon uh, taking up two gigs of RAM. Close your eyes. Because of that stupid bug. <laughs> Don't look. He's <Easy> fix. <laughs> But that's the thing. It usually uses like 10 megs and it goes from 10 megs to two gigs. Hey man, you got the RAM. Might as well use it. This feature. <laughs> well, so I, 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 so either, either way I can report, they definitely do install. They run on Fedora 35. No problem. No issue so far. I know Ven has some problems with uh, DaVinci Resolve. As I said in the pre-pre super shows. And like, yeah. Uh, yeah, the last, I was testing out the betas of these is like DaVinci Resolve was having 
none of that nonsense. I'm like, you know what? We're just yeah, so you, holding so, pattern. So you may want to hang out. Yeah, yeah, you may want to hang back if you have anything super production critical. But good news, folks. Speaking of holding Stadia. patterns. Stadia. Oh, man. It's, it's the future <laughs> of gaming or so. <laughs> Is that something? No, I'm I'm still imagining the groundhog with the kilt, man. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, fucking speaking of the future of gaming. Okay, or, check this out. Uh, Google Stadia is still around to the shock and awe of everyone involved, myself included. Uh, they haven't pulled yeah. the plug on this yet. Ours has got another story, a little bit of an update as to something we were talking about quite a while back. I think back in October, because uh, turns out AT and T had kind of co-opted Stadia as a white box service to make a goddamn Batman game available through yeah. AT and T. There's they got it's a thing that you can do apparently, and uh, this is just more of that, more confirmation. And um, they are a couple of different studios. They're trying to push this on. Like who who wants some of this white label uh, uh, cloud peloton? Who see it's like. So see this this was interesting, right? Like so I, I had lunch with a with a Stadia engineer mm-hmm. and he was very determined that it was the feature of gaming and like, man, I really hope they give you a solid thumbs up on your resume when you uh when you go look for new work. Um yeah, D- Destiny 2 that that launched on Stadia. But yeah, confidence was never really uh, there in the product from a market standpoint, and it was really useless if you lived outside of a city. But Here's, here's the thing, though. Going to white label, I think there's actually potential for this for Stadia to like exist as something useful, right? Um, Peloton is doing that as part of their uh, exercise program. So there's a couple of like these smart mirror technologies that like will put in resistance pulleys and whatnot, so you can use them as like an interactive exercise platform. Mm-hmm. And I think for like distance learning and all sorts of remote access stuff, there's definitely like some play for Stadia outside of the the gaming space. I think because I think gaming was a little too much of an ask, at least at this point, with the network infrastructure we have. Well, in that's what I gotta right ask, now. man. Like, what do they do? Because yeah. I, I don't think like remote learning and uh, exercise equipment is enough to justify the expense and cost of keeping the global right footprint which, 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 which of all is, the. Uh, which is why they're moving it to white label. And the article says they completely nixed the there or they're deprioritizing the direct consumer. Uh, section of well, the yeah, Stadia organization. Well, I mean, the, the first clue, the, the first little hint of that was when they closed the Stadia gaming studio. Then they, uh, <laughs> shortly after that, the dude in charge of Stadia who was, you know, had a history of just messing up projects. It's like, I'm out. And I'm like, that guy's leaving. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, like, like I said, I, I think there, I think there's still like a place for the technology to exist and be useful, but Right now, gaming is not that place. I just don't and, see... I think... I can't be alone when I say I'm surprised that Google still mentions that it's a thing or has any plans for it whatsoever because the Google graveyard. I just see them going up next. I, I Who knows? Maybe, maybe, They're already maybe changing the name, so you might as well add Stadia there now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, don't I, I, I don't know. Like... It's they, they they have a bunch of the technology now, so at the very least they can patent troll people to not make their own stadiums. Well, right? I was reading around it. Some people seem to have some hope for it in as the future of being able to play games on their Switch that Nintendo is never going to update. <laughs> if Nintendo, yeah, no, gives no, you no, no, you're, you're going to get like an OLED screen. Stadia shut stuff. the shut the fuck up. <laughs> right, five years from now, we're like, yeah, we've upgraded. We put an OLED screen. On. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's a slightly larger battery, you guys. Uh, Listen, the only reason I take issue with that is because I watched that Bayonetta three trailer, and I'm like, man, that looks like Bayonetta on five year old mobile phone hardware. Nice. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, maybe it's written using Glide. No, impossible. <laughs> it could be, but hey, maybe you'll be able to play it very, very soon natively on Linux. Well, there's already been a couple of projects. I was doing the back in the get, 90s. What's your problem? Yeah, <laughs> there's been a couple of projects to try and bring Glide to Oops, current day Mesa. Oh, go. hello. Right <laughs> uh, and yeah, uh, this is the latest one. It's Grover. And well, right now it's. Uh, it technically only works with pandemonium that um <laughs> platformer that i actually very much enjoyed back in the day uh and it there's a lot of people in the comments saying yeah there's some other projects that have already tr- started trying to do this so you can get like native glide on modern day cards with modern day mesa it's so, like real life yeah, work work with those people to try and get something that works with more than one game. And uh, the thing that kind of got me was that I was like, 
yeah, I'm looking for a 3D FX card if anyone's got one to donate. It's like, uh-huh. <laughs> Do you think he wants my 5,500? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, I mean, is, is, is the GPU market that bad that we need to start resurrecting? I, I don't know. I, I mean, I keep it around for a prop. The last time I broke it out, I had somebody help me for like a couple of weeks. Like, let me buy that from you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, th- <laughs> the, this boy's only going to be a uh, gallium only though. So you got to be on Radeon or have an Iris GPU. If you mm. want to dick around with that, at least this is what or he's tested it Nuvo. on. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. If you are running Nuvo, stop, just don't, don't do it. I'm, if, if, if you are a new, if you are a Nuvo dev, please continue for the love of God, get that money. But if you're anyone else, stop it. Hey, don't man, do it. We're going to run stop Nuvo. It. Thanks for tuning in for our wacky tech tips. Um, more Nuvo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no cracky tech yeah. tips man two Dude, canes um 3d effects that's a blast from past having that compatibility layer there is just like an extra bonus so to and I, I reward the like unhinged insanity i'm like you know what this be you know neat. What? Why, why not right it's 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 and game it's preservation right too so it's built in rust and back in the day, man, I mean, <laughs> when I was seeing this and we were talking about like the original Unreal, I remember bringing people over to watch it fly, that camera fly around that damn castle, man. And like, future's all right, here. All right, all right. All right, Pedro, I, 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 got, I got a bone to pick with you. Mm. Yes, it's written in Rust. Do you want these people writing this shit in C? Do you actually? <laughs> to be fair, do you, uh, do you developer actually? does say it's like it exposes all of the, like all the APIs exposed in a C uh, compliant way. So good job. Yeah, Very good yeah. job. <laughs> I, I, listen, 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 people don't know how to low level program good these days. If you got to write your low level ship in a memory safe language, I'm all for that. Oh man, I'm waiting for it. Rust blocks. Maybe that's something you can play around with. It's your new position at Code Weavers as a quality assurance analyst. Code Weavers, small company, but I heard of them, you know. They're from St. Paul, Minnesota, and that's where your happy ass is going to be moving up to <laughs> ne- Canada, Canada's neighbor, practically Canada, man. Uh, they are w- looking- Winnipeg light. Yeah, Winnipeg light. That, that's a good way of looking at it. Um, what do you need? What, what are you going to do? Test Windows games on software. All right, that's cool. Build test versions. That's easy enough to do. Provide support and testing capacity. Okay, evaluate software. You can do that. Work with customers. Be, reproduce problems. Easy enough. Tackle your own projects while simultaneously assisting other team members with theirs. Easy enough. Easy enough. Requirements. What do we need? Previous software testing experience. Yeah, man, I uninstalled Windows once. Highly motivated to learn new skills. That's everyone here. <laughs> Assertive personality, willingness to ask questions. Nah, sometimes. What? Who? Who are you? <laughs> um, pretend he didn't I'm okay say that. with whatever. <laughs> Flexible and able to quickly pivot in response to changing priorities. Yeah, I know how to run from a crime. Uh, comfortable communicating with team members to coordinate on projects and convey availability <laughs> as workload flux. Yeah, I can, I can offload task. Uh, bonus <laughs> skills. <laughs> you, what's your name? Right, yeah, do this. Your job. You're the new VP in charge of this. Can you use yeah. Git? Desktop gaming background. All right. I think a lot of people watching the show would have pretty much everything. Benefits, though. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. IRA matching, health insurance, <laughs> health reimbursement account, short term disability. Now, I, I got all the way down to the shower. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> this is the benefit. Code Vivos just raises the question, what are you wacky cats up to? <laughs> like I, th- I, th- I think... Here. I think- I think Code Weavers may have some ventilation issues or some BO issues <laughs> that that necessitate having a shower there. But yeah, yeah, like the, the local candidates the meeting, only. They're like, okay, dog, after last night, um, we got to yeah. get a shower installed now. Yeah, no, <laughs> there, there's one, one, too, one too many late night coding sh- sessions. I don't want to actually look at the inside of that shower, though. Maybe maybe you need to sanitize that with some bleach. Yeah, the, the local candidates only, though, though that's, the, that's the big sticky wicket. Apparently, they're having some trouble finding some people in Minnesota. Mm. Yeah, it, it, and the thing that jumped out at me was the bonus small company, no strict policies or forms to fill out. You will get to know all of your coworkers. I don't think that last one's as big a bonus as you make it out to be. At least not for me. No, Pedro. Not everyone is like on a like 
perfect angular. It's like, I want to be perfectly alone, not communicate. Yeah. <laughs> Can, so, so, it's so, like, so, I so Pedro, like if a we, very small amount of people. Pedro on his wall, you I'm can't see it. He's them. got a fucking picture. You know, the motivational thing is fucking Quasimodo up in the fucking bell tower. It's like one day. I, I, I think the Pedro's perfect employment situation would be a lightless, featureless black box mm-hmm. that he just sits in for hours at a time. I wouldn't mind that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> then you get to go to the punishment box, Pedro. Come on down. Uh, let's, let, 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 let's, let's talk okay, about... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I can probably code weavers. Okay, what are your thoughts on turning it into a sensory deprivation shower? Hmm? <laughs> we might be able to get a sen- Pedro. A sensory deprivation attack shower? <laughs> it's, it's like you're sensory deprived. <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's like it's like one of those Japanese game shows where you just get launched well, out listen. into the Minnesota snow. <laughs> Let me talk to Satan in accounting, and we'll see if we can work something out. Right, right. Yeah. LGC. All right, Pedro. Pedro, tell me about not Diablo. Yes, it it, it is very much not Diablo. It's Flare. Uh, it is a game engine. Uh, it's that's what it started out as, like very Diablo inspired for your point and click hack and slashies. But uh, they also made an actual RPG game, uh, just as kind of a proof of concept. And it's actually not a terrible game. Very short, but uh, it's not a terrible game. Uh, and version one point thirteen is out now, and the big one is. Better gamepad behavior. SDL uh, to proper uh, SDL game controller support. So if you have, I don't know, some generic Chinese um, controller that identifies as a Switch Pro controller, it's probably going to work. I fucking love this. I fucking love this. They've visualized. Prepare yourselves, kids. The fuck of war. Yes. (laughs) Yes. yes. <laughs> right. I actually hey, updates the minimap accordingly. <laughs> it, well, it, it's it's a thing that Diablo had that Flair didn't, and now, now they do. But yeah, um, that's the, why they got the shower, Fog of War. Maybe they got some Fog of War. Yeah. Go to Weavers. Uh, you man, get some Fog of fog, War fog, on fog, you, man. Ew. Fog of something, man. Yeah, um, yeah but uh, one, 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 thing, one thing they're doing is they're, they're ditching Tarda GZs. They're just shipping an app image now, and that seems acceptable there. I had a, I had an initial gut reaction of like, really? But like, it's a fucking app image. It's you run, it bundles all the dependencies with it. I think that that's our, that's a reasonable way to distribute your software in 2022. Um, yeah. And so like Pedro mentioned, switching over to the uh, SDL tune pad API rather than handling their own input with SDL joystick really means that that will work with your steam deck, which is, you know, maybe, yes. maybe you want to make <laughs> that sure <was> big one. <laughs> that, that, that people can play your game on the, this hot new handheld. Dude, and uh, it's font month, so they've updated the fonts. If you squint, no, not really. It does look better. They have some before and after pictures. Go check on our show notes. It'll be linked to everything. But this is not the only game breaking out some hot font action this week. No. It's <laughs> wheels. <laughs> the font on that page, though. What? Christ. What? <laughs> What's wrong They with went you? with the pixel font for the whole page. What's wrong? No. <laughs> Come on. Text is all the thing, man. It's neat. <laughs> they get a new version out. A uh, bunch of new languages in this. They fixed the log jam because apparently that was a problem. Um, and fonts. Pixely, pixely fonts. Pedro's favorite. France. Polish. What else do you have? Espan- Espanol. Russian. Russian. Uh, Russian. <laughs> that tie. Um, yeah. Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> Probably English. Chinese. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. We did it good. And I, Polish. Yeah. yeah. I just realized we could have cheated right there. Man. Oh, he's right there. Shut the fuck up. We, did, we didn't cheat. We knew this. Offhand. <laughs> hang on. Well, hang I on. Played, hang I on. Downloaded. Hang on. Acting. I downloaded the game and I played around and I won the race and the message at the end is like a little teeny tiny car shows up in the corner of the screen with a text bubble that says, congrats for this performance. That's a bit of a backhanded compliment you're giving me there, game. I, I, t- the I, take, th- I, I take that over the end of the Ghostbusters <laughs> NES game where it's like, congratulations. Oh, come on. I got a thing set up on the uh, Trackmania server. Come check that out. We'll give you an um, unimpressive jump one point. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that truck game. <laughs> that uh, when you finish the race, it's like your winner or winner. You're your winner. winner. <laughs> you know what? Y O R A U W I N A R. Winner. You know, hey, look at it like this. I'm, I'm always 
fascinated by typography and stuff like that because I can't see it. It just doesn't register in my brain. Like if I squint, I'm like, yeah, that kind of looks different. But hey, they're taking the time to go through it. And uh, that is to be rewarded. That's but very important. Yeah. For get, Polish getting and, um, Russian. Put very, some very video important to on your characters. page. It makes it really hard to sell <laughs> this game. I mean, it's free. Needs more, come on. Needs more inter-Slavic support. We need, we need Klingon in our pixel. Klingon. Nay. Kapla. Kapla. You're sure. All right. Let's see. All right. See what you before did. Pedro, yeah, yeah, yeah. You shut, shut, shut. shut. <laughs> Coming up next, uh, we're Don't gonna blow some bubbles. Yourself. <laughs> Welcome back to the chair position. I don't have my fucking hood on. Whoops. Uh-huh. Uh, this week we're taking a. <laughs> it's, the, blah, 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 blah. it's the part of the show where we take a look at a game. We run it on several Linux distributions, and we give you a. Super scientific, ultra mega score of one to four lawn chairs based on, you know, our, our, our wins. It's like a Megazord whimsy. without Brian Cranston. <laughs> is, 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 is it for a magazine called Megascore, it, but go on. <laughs> is it even a Megazord if it doesn't have Brian Cranston? I don't believe so. This week we're taking a look at Aquamarine done by Meeble Studios on the Unity Engine. You can pick it up for about 15 bucks. What is it? A quiet naval survival or a quiet survival adventure about perception and journey in an alien ocean. Explore a planet reclaimed by nature. Cultivate new life to survive. Journey into unknown depths. Find your way home. Then we got to thank uh, Meeble Studios, Mobile Studios mm-hmm. for uh, sending us some keys over Curator. Mobile? Mobile. Mobile? Sure. Mo- mo- oh, mobile? No. Meeble? Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll. Anyways, let, 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 let's uh, let, let's let's get into it. How's this shit running in uh, in Debian? Hang on, let me, let me get my Doom clock up. Boom, got three minutes to do this. Debian eleven, it's running like a champ, like you would expect. Uh, what do I got? A nineteen twenty X Threadripper, a twenty sixty thirty two gigs of RAM SSDs, NVMEs, and all the fun stuff. Powered by electricity, strange stuff. Now the resolution options in this, it's a wee strange, wee strange. High is full screen at 2160p, which is resolution of this monitor. Medium is 1440 windowed and low is 1080p windowed. Shrug emoji on that. That's just what it is. You do get some volume sliders for your sound and a few other bits. You know, everything worked the best I could tell. I hammered on it a little bit. Didn't have any problems. Technical aspect. The art style. Kind of digging that. You know, it's got that hybrid, uh, what, the like 17th century Japanese kind of look with like some of the clouds and stuff like that slash pulp comic vibe going on. I can absolutely dig it. And uh, the soundtrack. Soundtrack is on a mission to put a motherfucker to sleep. But let's talk about the fun. Yeah, I want you to think about this. I want you to sit back and just imagine being on a planet, chilling out. You know, you are the planet, I should say. Not be, yeah, being a planet. Chilling out, doing planet things, and some rando crashes into your ass and names your planet as Aquamarine. Because, yep, planet's trying to kill you. AKA, this is a survival game. Doesn't look like it, but it is, man. This is, uh, well, should I say that? It's more of like a hidden object game with an isometric grid-based movement twist at the end. You get the nanny bars, you got farming, grid-based movement. What's not to love? Well, for one thing, the permadeath. Didn't like that. My ship ran out of moonbeam healing crystals, and my shit got reset. That was 30 minutes into me clicking around the seafloor, looking for a damn plant. True story. And you know what? Fuck that plant. Fuck the garden for the plant. Fuck whoever thought up that pretentious save system. It tells you right up front, don't do anything while playing this game. I need your undivided attention or I'll explode. It will explode on you. Um, also, label the flying spaghetti monster damn buttons on that interface. That moon glyph nonsense is straight up hostile to players. It just did. Trying to figure that out. Um, you can power your way through it. I guess I'll say this. You know what? Somebody's trying to convey a game here. And like an attempt was made. The art's really good. We were talking earlier in the pre-pre-super shows. And I would gladly give $14.99 for an art table book of this game. But playing it? A little rough around the edges. A little too laid back. A little too zen for me. But if you're a fan of the ever-elusive hidden object isometric grid-based permadeath survival genre, maybe give it a look. But nah, this is is not my jam, man. Not my jam. (sighs) Yeah, on Fedora 35, 64 bit with the R9 3900X and GTX 1080 Ti, Steam Beta made the game fuck up because input was no worky. Um, 
Yeah, that's not really the game's fault. I swapped back to the beta or the stable client on Steam. Steam input was working fine. All good. Not the game's fault. Just a note. Be aware of it. Um, also, clear labels. Your UI is in desperate need of those. I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, yeah, just don't don't make me click on text boxes to move to the next big bit of dialogue. Just let me mash space or control or something. Like the the, the controls are all over the place here. Um, like and as Ben said, the art style is gorgeous. Like the the the, the drawings are really cool. The environments are very well done. Um, I just wish I could explore them because yeah, fun wise, this game is so slow, and I have never ever played an exploration game that is so determined to stop you from going anywhere. Um, like nav navigating around the ocean floor is so cumbersome and slow. You got these big, impressive hand-drawn maps with all this detail that you think are full of stuff to explore, but no, they're little, they're little rhomboids a little of like a five by five isometric grid that you can explore sometimes. And man, that isometric grid, uh, especially when you have to like ne negotiate between like going up on the surface and going below the water. It's not, it's not good. You need some better indication as to like what is actually beneath you. The, the, the fast travel system is like not the same as in the tutorial. Uh, except sometimes it is if you hit the, if you hit the right thing, otherwise you got to mash buttons on the keyboard until you bring up the mini map. I don't know. <laughs> And like there are there are a lot of game systems that this game wants you to use, and I don't need to decrypt Stargate symbols to to fucking look at a mini map, right? Like the the tutorial tells you explains you explains to you how the game works exactly one time, and you better fucking remember, motherfucker. I really wanted to like this game. The vibe was really neat. The art is super pretty. I like exploration stuff, but yeah, failed to grab me in the first half hour of gameplay, and that's like the critical moment you gotta at least tickle my tickle my taint with something and you didn't provide me with much beyond uh some pretty art so i'm gonna give it one share sorry guys yeah it's shaping up to be one of them uh over here on the ryzen 7 3700 x with the gtx 1080 it launches out of the box it holds 144 at 2560 by 1440 it has a very very relaxed soundtrack. It's a very mellow art style in general, which contrasts rather sharply with the stressful situation that your character person finds herself in, which I suppose leads us into the fun. And is it fun? No. No, it is not. I don't want to rehash the whole show versus tell argument all that often, but I kind of have to with this one because clearly the art style here was the focus. I mean, look at it. Looks very good. And then what did they do? Oh yeah, something's happening. Let's cover up the art style and put a text box on screen. You're a video game. You have a visual element. Show me. You can do that. You can show me what's happened. You, you can show me what's what just happened, what is happening. You can do all of that. And you're not. You're telling me that something happened. Stop doing that. But yeah, no, I. Uh, this is one of those games that I found myself having a better time because I was confused. At one point, I was genuinely confused, and I went to YouTube and I saw someone else play it. It's like, oh, okay, and I found myself enjoying uh, watching someone else play it a lot more than I enjoyed playing it myself. So, yeah. It's a game that, you know, despite its very strong visual aspect, it doesn't actually show you much, just, you know, text boxes. It's a game that has very relaxed music, which constantly makes you stress about the energy levels for your little pod thingy. Uh, so many it's a game. Bars. Yes. Uh, it's a game with a story about a desperate struggle for survival in an alien planet where every action is long-winded and each quote-unquote animation and fade-in, fade-out between screens is overlong and completely unnecessary. Aquamarine reminded me of a very bad puzzle game we threw chairs a long time ago called Pavilion. And that's not a good thing. That's why you get one chair. <laughs> Yeah, so it, it was so, not so, good. So, so yeah, I think I think the general verdict here: very, very pretty looking game, but mm. the gameplay is like just not there. At the end of the day, yeah. I mean, it is a gorgeous. It's a visual treat, but goddamn, you're getting some artifacts Monday flashbacks at some points, and the movement Man. system, grid based, and 
Yeah. Artifacts Monday has a clear UI because they only ask you just mm-hmm. click on shit, right? Like this, there there are mystery labeled switches <laughs> that I don't I don't fucking know what they do, and you can only <laughs> click on them some of the time. When is that? I don't fucking know. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 a whole deal. Coming up next, we're gonna yeah, we gotta tell you about space nineteen ninety nine and why it is the best sci fi of nineteen ninety nine. Well, that's it. No more show for you. You, you clearly uh, you cannot be trusted, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm on about. But hey, you need to go to your room, mail. Pedro. <laughs> he's in uh, his. I room. will be in a few hours. <laughs> when we're when we're done with this, I will go to my room if Dory doesn't immediately kick me back out because I woke her up. <laughs> the Ouch. Uh, yes, this is Ouch. <laughs> Sounds like sounds like you need to send a hate mail to the relationship advice channel. It sounds like they need a shower. <laughs> I'm making it sound a lot worse than it is, but uh, yeah, Um, I guess no one likes getting woken up in the middle of the night, but if you like getting woken up in the middle of the night, this is the segment where you can tell us all about it. Just go to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form. It's uh, LGC Weekly, the show that you want to send uh, your hate mail to, and a bandana phone, okay, right? (laughs) Banana phone. (laughs) <laughs> there's some caveats at the top if you uh if you're thinking of sending us you know urls keys for a game yeah read those those are important hey do what the developers of uh what was the <laughs> game we got three keys for this week uh the space game was just released on linux oh um beyond mankind beyond mankind not only did they send three keys to pedro they sent three keys to the show email address which i had to cross reference because sometimes we get like bukaki keys we got duplicates yes. yeah yep. <laughs> i was like good job lads. good job so last week speaking game developers uh we mentioned anyone remember the name of it space 90 or it was space quest 1999 2099 2099. 2099. Right. 2099. <laughs> and uh, we, well, I believe it was Jordan who did the faux pas. It's like, oh, this is the Quake 3 engine because it went boop. No. I, I mentioned the hit markers. It's like, that seems a bit revealing. <laughs> I, I, it, it, it clearly said in, in the thing it was inspired by Quake 3. I may have misspoke or misrepresented it. It's Quake 3 esque. Wow. But cyn- cynical, ch- cynical Cheddar writes in and they says, wow. yo, space. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, space qu- there we go. Yeah. All right. Yo, yes. Space Quest dev here. Lol. Thanks for having a look at Space Quest 2099. Just a couple things to clarify about the game. The Linux build might work. I haven't been able to extensively <laughs> test it. Question mark. This project started during high school and then kind of intermittently sat on the shelf for years at a time. It also doesn't run the Quake 3 engine. It runs a bastardized recreation of the Quake 3 movement engine I rebuilt in Unity. Anyways, I want to make a game that was a tribute to those 2000 shooters. Thanks and subbed colon uh smiley face cynical cheddar all right well there there, there you go we, we 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 fucked up we got we got called out on it uh yeah. i still say <laughs> watch, watch out because uh sierra lawyers have that microsoft money now so uh captain just, just dave take... smack out <laughs> yeah captain mutton chops man <laughs> i mean yeah no high school project that uh very good <laughs> yeah I'm still 100% it, 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 down on this. It's got, it's got that high school energy, doesn't it? Oh, it does, man. Remember yep. those days? Poor yeah. Scotty. Poor Scotty. And it's completely free to play. Go check it out. I didn't even get a chance to play around with it this week. But we do enjoy it when somebody calls us out on our shit. And that, hey, easy mistake to make. I mean, the, you took the time to put the poop in. <laughs> Which, you know, for you, that well played. Well played. You fooled us. Yeah, no, that trailer, that trailer was also very well done. So kudos. Yeah. <laughs> that r- reminds me of the shit I did in like film class in high school where it's like, right? we have a camcorder in Windows Movie Maker. Let's go. That's what you're doing. You're looking at a bunch of olds going, oh man, I remember being young. But hey. Yeah, I, I remember having the energy to do shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, people, people, we're going to pull the Nightmare Train back into the station. Thanks for showing up, but I'm afraid we need to cue the music. You can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. Head over to twitch.tv forward slash Linux Gamecast. Tap the schedule button, fam. Or if you don't, then just, I don't know, consult the fucking mothering ruins or whatever you gotta do. If you want to scream at me, I'm on the Twitter. At Vinstone. 
on Twitter. We have a Mastodon instance, mast.linuxemcast.com. I'm just at Vin there, doing the things. I am your favorite neglected elderly relative that you should probably go visit, but you're not going to. Uh, you can he- you can hear me crying for help on <laughs> twitch.tv slash burning fool or follow me on Twitter at the burning fool where I post very racist things that make you uncomfortable. No, I don't do that. <laughs> Shut up, grandpa. <laughs> Drink your prune <laughs> juice. Uh, the... <laughs> My, my Twitter is uh, definitely not as eventful as whatever Jordan just described there. But uh, yes, you can follow me there. That's the social media that I look at. So at unaccounted for, F-O-U-R. Uh, yeah, the, drop me a follow if you share uh, interesting stuff. I will follow you back. And Prune remember, juice is a warrior's drink. Prune juice is best juice. Credits. <laughs> <laughs> well... It's that time of the week again where I wait for this credits to load and wait for Jitsi to fuck up. Is it going to do it? No, we got to thank our advisors, Omegas, Artherin, our executive producers. That's Aldius, Bob Bram, Scott, Michaud, Mr. Foxdog, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, and Yorj, and our little Nikki fans keeping it real with Rodney Dangerfield, Chicago Kicks Ass, Dark Wing, and Abstraction. Sea monsters like Jack B, Rider X Machina, Truggy, Vera Tenuta, Justin, and it's so small, Frost Claw, Strider, Death Notes. <laughs> Go, Pedro, help me out, man. Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2.1, Stephen B, Dodgers, Anthros Gaming, Rouge, um, yeah, Michael, I can't read, uh, Ogi Wan, oh, Ogi- 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 Felicio, <laughs> Menno, Maxius, GPX, Axelmo, yep. look at these fuckers, these Fuck fine upstanding cannibals, yes. yeah. the fuckos, <laughs> Arthur and Linux, your hardiest, <laughs> Noculus, John and HF, and of course, the hookiest of hooks, Gametron. Yep. Don't make it beep. Don't make it beep. No. Uh, they're, 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 they're a real hooker, that one. <laughs> Dynafire, beautiful people. We'll see you next week. Bye. Five dudes. <laughs>